How's it going guys? I have a quick shrine quest video for you today. Now this one is located in the Korok forest as you can see on your map right now. Now to make things easier, we're going to start this quest where the Master Sword is located. Now once you are here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the right side. You'll know you're going in the right direction when you see Hetsu and all you have to do is just pass him and you'll see a small little, a small little path. Once you get to that path, all you have to do is just follow that path until you reach a Korok. Alright, so once you reach the Korok, what's going to happen is the quest will start for you. Now, for this quest, it is a quest where you have to go from point A to point B. And he'll give you some weapons that you can use, but they can't break so just make sure they don't break for you and what you need to do is you need to follow the path that you'll see me doing um, if for any reason you think you're going the wrong way or if you're out of bounds what you can check is for the fences that are going to be around the path and if you pass a fence or if you jump a fence the Korok will tell you that you failed the mission so that's one way of knowing and then once you reach these crates you want to use your bombs to destroy them because it's really easy using your bombs and then just keep walking up the path until you reach the swampy area now once you reach uh, the swampy area here what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to use Revali's Gale you can also use uh, Cryonis to cross the path by creating ice pillars and stuff like that but it's really easy to just use Revali's Gale if you do have it. Now, once you use Revali's Gale, you're just going to need to paraglide straight until you see the shrine. And when you reach the shrine, the quest will have been completed. Now, just keep in mind that you can do this challenge whenever you want, even after reaching the shrine and completing the shrine. So you can do this a lot of times. And... I believe you also get the weapons once again for um, doing the shrine itself. I didn't try it out, but if you guys want, you can try it out and let me know if you can, if you get the weapons again, even though you already have them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you reach the shrine, just go for the chest and you have completed the quest. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And if you want, you can also subscribe as well as that really helps me a lot. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and then uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.